South Korea successfully completed a pivotal flight test involving its homegrown Kianryang long-range air-launched cruise missile, launched from an F-A-50 light combat aircraft. This critical test, announced by the Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA, two days later, demonstrated the missile's ability to safely separate from the aircraft during flight, validating its aerodynamic integration with platforms beyond its primary launch vehicle, the KF-21 Borame. The test occurred at Seishin Air Base and marked a significant moment for South Korea's defense industry. Although the Kianryang was originally conceived for deployment on the stealth-capable KF-21, this exercise proves the F-A-50's suitability as an interim testing platform. The adaptability of the missile to various aircraft expands operational flexibility, both for domestic deployment and potential international use. Engineered by South Korea's Agency for Defense Development, ADD, in collaboration with LIG NEX-1 and Hanwha Aerospace, the Kianryang is a cutting-edge weapon tailored for high-value, deeply fortified enemy infrastructure. With a newly developed high-thrust turbofan engine by Hanwha, it cruises subsonically and boasts a strike range starting at over 500 km, possibly reaching beyond 800 km under optimal flight conditions. The missile's effectiveness is driven by a sophisticated dual-stage tandem warhead designed to punch through up to 8 meters of reinforced concrete. This makes it ideal for destroying underground command centers and bunker complexes. Its precision strike capability comes from a hybrid guidance suite combining TURCOM, inertial navigation, satellite positioning, and imaging infrared for terminal targeting. The result is a near pinpoint accuracy, with a circular error probable, CEP, of just 1 to 2 meters. Designed with low observability in mind, the Kianryang incorporates radar absorbing materials and a minimal radar signature airframe, maximizing its survivability in heavily defended airspace. Another advantage is its long-term readiness, the missile can be stored fully fueled for up to a decade, ensuring rapid availability during emergencies. While the Kianryang is optimized for internal carriage on stealth fighters like the KF-21, its design also supports external mounting, broadening the range of aircraft it can arm. This modular approach adds tactical versatility and strengthens its appeal on the global arms market. This achievement underscores South Korea's evolving self-reliance in high-end missile development. Once dependent on Western systems like the US AGM, 158 JASSM and Germany's Taurus KEPD 350, South Korea now stands among the select few nations capable of independently producing strategic cruise missiles. The Kianryang matches its Western counterparts in stealth, range, and destructive capacity, while integrating seamlessly within Korea's indigenous defense ecosystem. Beyond technical parity, the missile's cost-effective production and platform versatility position it as a strong candidate for export, especially to allies seeking high-performance munitions without dependency on U.S. or European sources. The F-A-50's role in testing further hints at potential pairing options for smaller air forces seeking affordable strike capabilities. As Seoul continues ramping up defense innovation and investment, the Kianryang serves not only as a symbol of strategic deterrence but also as a testament to the nation's rapid rise as a serious player in the global defense arena.